Hello, David here. I'm not much of a cordless drill guy. I got this uh, given to me by a friend a long time ago, and uh, probably given to me because the batteries were were dead, but uh, never held the charge for more than about five minutes. It's a 13 volt Craftsman drill, and uh, since then I've always been turned off by the cordless drills. The guys I work with at the Boy Scout camp are all using DeWalt 18 volt cordless tools. I've been very impressed with them and decided to make a change. You guys already know that I'm always late to the party, but uh, at least I waited for uh, waited for the product to get perfected. Here's what I have. This is a DeWalt. I'm sorry, this is a Milwaukee. This is a combination uh, kit. It's a drill and an impact. I was uh, just going to buy the impact, but it was cheaper to get the combination. Because if I bought them separately, I'd pay probably another $75 or so. And this is where I found it. It's on eBay. The model number for the combination set is 2799-22CX. I paid $238 for it. Uh, that includes freight and there's no taxes because it was out of state. And the seller was BB Direct 88. First time I ever bought anything from this individual. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Here's the charging station. This will charge the uh, M12 and the M18. Uh, that's a 12 volt and 18 volt batteries. Here is a 18 volt red lithium 2.0 battery. This is an M18. XC 4.0 red lithium battery. Since this one's much bigger on the left, this is the one that holds the more power. See, that's just a spacer. Carry case. Looks more like a lunch bag. Let's see what's inside of there. Some type of manual, operator's manual. Okay, there's a manual for the battery charger. Manual for the drill. Looks like the model number on the drill is uh, tw either 2701 or 2702. Manual for the impact driver, which is a model 2750-20. What else is in the bag? There's a drill. There's the driver. See the driver has a uh, tool belt clip on it so you can hang it from your belt. Looks like it's got a, uh, a light. This button changes direction, forward or reverse. Model number 2750-20. See what model number of the drill we have. Notice these are both brushless motors. This is a uh, model number 2702-20. And that's everything that's in there. Okay, this brochure that came with it is just showing all the different models of tools they have. Uh, this model is not the fuel model. You'll say fuel mentioned for the 18 volt tools 
That is a higher horsepower motor used for, uh, I guess it's used for drilling uh, large holes with hole saws and things. Let's say hole saw, I mean for hole saws, things like that. Man, they got a big array of tools. I also see they have heated jackets, that's pretty cool. Inspection scopes, flashlights, vacuums. What a system. And it looks like they all share the same batteries. Let's look at the drill first. I know what you're thinking. Do these ship with charged batteries? Well, there's a little fuel gauge on the battery. You push this button here. That lights up. See the first red box lights up. Let's try the bigger one. It's got two boxes. I guess when it's full, it'll go, uh, you'll have four boxes. Put it in, see what we have here. It does have a light on there. It's got two speeds. That's slow. Two is faster. It's got, uh, settings here for drilling, screwing, hammering. These are your speeds here. Let's see if I look at the instructions. Four is the, this is the torque selector collar, not speed. That's for torque. There's only one speed selector and that's right here, one or two. It's got a keyless chuck, it's a one half inch uh, diameter. Low speed is uh, up to 450 RPM, high speed is up to 1800 RPM. The tool does not come with any bits and the uh, the trigger is a variable speed, so the less you push it in, the slower it goes. The more you push it in, the faster it goes. When the forward reverse button is centered, the trigger is locked and also locks the spindle, which allows you to change bits with one hand. Uh, when you're in the the drill mode or the driving mode, which is the same mode, the uh, the clutch selector is usable. When you're in hammer drilling, or uh, let's see, when you're in hammer drilling, the clutch selector has no effect on operation. If you're in drill only, the clutch selector has no no effect on operation either. Let's take a look at this battery charger. So uh, when you push the battery condition button and you have one light, that means you have less than 10% of charge left on the battery. Let's plug this into the charger. Okay, you have to turn it around to see the status. When it's charging, these lights stay on continuously. It looks like there's a light on the charger here that stays on as well. Um, there's no mention in the manual what this port is for, and since these battery packs don't fit in there, I'm going to assume this is if you have a 12 volt battery. That would go there. Uh, it says charging time is anywhere from 30 minutes to 75 minutes depending upon the battery pack. Heavily cycled batteries take longer. Uh, after charging is complete, a continuous green light will come on. And the battery pack, uh, the charger will keep the battery pack fully charged if it's left in the charger. If the second pack is inserted into charger, it will begin charging when the first pack is fully charged. 
If the indicator light flashes red and green, check that the battery pack is fully seated in the bay. Remove the battery and reinsert. Uh, also, if it's flashing red and green, the battery pack may be extremely hot or extremely cold. See what happens when I pull it out slightly. See if it flashes. Try putting it in partially. It's not in all the way, but the lights are on. There we go. I'll let that charge for a while. And you only get one belt hook for the whole kit, so if you want to move it from the driver to the drill, you have to unscrew it to move it. And it's also ambidextrous. It could be there's a, a holes tapped on either side, so you can switch sides if you want. And the uh, this is the driver. The drill also has drills tapped on both sides. You can mount it on either side you wish. The impact driver is a lot simpler. It's a one quarter inch hex, and um, the trigger locks when the uh, forward reverse switch right here is centered. Then a lock it. There are no speed settings. There are no torque settings, and it has a quick release collar on the. Uh, the driver by pulling this out allows you to release the bit and it also has a light that's about it for that there's not much to talk about on that okay that battery is done charging and that was the bigger battery this is the smaller battery so that's a bigger battery it took about took about 40 or 45 minutes for it to charge so we got a green light now and I did some reading in the manual this port is for 12 volt batteries so it's got the same lighting system here the light side is red and then the green light on the left side will turn on when it's charged why they put the lights on the back of it I don't know doesn't make sense let's charge up this little one now there we go. See, see on the back, it's going to be red. Check this battery. Where's the button? Oh, here we go. Push the button. I thought maybe the fourth one was going to be green when it's full, but no. Push that button and you get four red lights and uh, that shows it's fully charged. I did some bits and I found this 95 piece drill and driver set on eBay. It was uh, $25 with free shipping and I got it from Tools Plus Outlet. So that should be coming in in a week or so and I want to thank you guys for watching. Bye now.